Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition. Question 1. An arrangement made to repay delinquent installments or advances is called A. Repayment Plan B. Settlement Plan C. Debt Installment Notice D. Debt Division Plan Answer An arrangement made to repay delinquent installments or advances is simply called a repayment plan. Question 2. The amount of principal that has not yet been repaid is called A. The balance B. The remaining balance C. The outstanding note D. The loan remaining Answer B. The remaining balance is the amount of principal that the lendee has not paid yet. Question 3. The process of paying off one loan with the proceeds from a new loan using the same property as security is called A. A. Refinance transaction. B. Resettlement transaction. C. Redouble transaction. D. Loophole transaction. Answer. A. This type of process is known as a refinance transaction. Question 4. This type of deed transfers without warranty, whatever interest or title a grantor may have at the time the conveyance is made. A. Quick claim deed. B. Warranty deed. C. Trust deed. D. Special warranty deed. Answer. A. A quick claim deed transfers without warranty, whatever interest or title a grantor may have at the time the conveyance is made. Usually used by family members, divorcing spouses, and people well acquainted with each other. Question 5. The payment change date is A. The date when a new monthly payment amount takes effect on an adjustable rate mortgage or graduated payment mortgage. B. The date when a new monthly payment amount takes effect on an fixed rate mortgage or graduated payment mortgage. C. The date when a new monthly payment amount takes effect on an adjustable rate mortgage or balloon payment mortgage. D. The date when a new monthly payment amount takes effect on an fixed rate mortgage or balloon payment mortgage. Answer. A. The date when a new monthly payment amount takes effect on an adjustable rate mortgage or graduated payment mortgage is called the payment change date. Question 6. What is the definition of a note in terms of real estate? A. A legal document requiring a borrower to repay a mortgage loan at a stated interest rate during a specified period of time. B. A legal document requiring a signature by both buyers and sellers that allows for the transfer of real property. C. A legal document requiring a borrower to repay a portion of a mortgage loan at a stated time in a lump sum. D. None of these. Answer. A. A note in terms of real estate is a legal document requiring a borrower to repay a mortgage loan at a stated interest rate during a specified period of time. Question 7. The interest rate banks charge to their preferred customers is called. A. The prime rate. B. The preferred rate. C. The priority rate. D. The graduated rate. Answer. A. The prime rate is the rate the banks charge their preferred customers for loans. Question 8. This is given by a commercial bank or other financial institution for a certain time and certain amount. A. Line of credit. B. Mortgage. C. Note. D. Bank account. Answer. A. A bank or other financial institution gives out a line of credit for a certain time period and for a certain amount. Question 9. This limits the amount the interest rate can increase or decrease over the life of the mortgage. A. A life cap. B. 
an interest limit, C, a mortgage cap, D, a fixed cap, answer, A, a life cap limits the amount of change the interest rate can fluctuate over the life of a mortgage. Question 10. This is a type of ownership where individuals actually own the building or unit they live, but common areas are owned jointly with the other members of the development or association. A. Condominium. B. Planned unit development. C. Planned condominium development. D. Apartment conversion development. Answer. B. In a planned unit development, the individuals actually own the building or unit they live in, but the common areas are owned jointly with the other members of the development or association. Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition.